Hello, my name is Eric Miller. I'm the Vice President of Technology for the Ray Morgan Company. Most likely, a service tech invited you to watch this video because they felt that you could benefit from some of the new software enhancement Canon has released and also leverage the investment you have in the Canon platform. What this product will demonstrate is the benefits of identifying users at the device. So let me take you to the device. So here we're at the machine. I want to show you the benefits of actually identifying users at the device. First of all, you can log in via a simple proxy card that many of you have already deployed within your environment. Or there's two other methods that you could log in as well. First of all, as we can see, we've got photos of actual users. Or we also have avatars that are already built into the software if you don't feel comfortable with putting photos on the screen. So here I want to log in as a user, so I simply press the photo, and now I am logged in to that particular user. So what are some of the automations that are triggered based upon this particular user? So when I press scan and send, a button is displayed, which is normally not there, called send to myself. When I press send to myself, the email address of that user is instantly populated. So when I scan this document, it will go directly to this user, but the from email address will also be this user. This is great for secure environments or where you need to track and know whose the documents are coming from. The other benefit of identifying users uh, at the device is workflows based upon uh, that particular employee and their job role. So for example, when I press this quick menu button, we have created two different workflows. Since this person is in accounting, we have invoices and we have expense reports. So when we press invoices, it will go to the directory where invoices are to be saved. Whereas if I press the other button, it will process as an expense report. And we're able to change those parameters uh, as the user sees fit. So I am now going to log out of this particular user, and we're going to log in as the HR manager. So the HR manager presses her button, and notice this is an additional layer of security. They need to enter in their PIN code and hit login, because we don't want anybody to be able to log in as the HR manager. So when they go scan and send, their button shows up and their email address will be populated. If I go back to uh, this quick menu button, you'll see that her workflows are completely different than the prior user. So when we press HR reviews, now it's going to go securely to her folder instead of the other user. Another main feature that we want to show that's becoming more popular within businesses is Google Docs. And again, this is important to go from user to user and not having them to enter their password every single time. So here I'm going to press connect to Google Docs and all of this information is saved per user. They do not have to type it in every time. So when I press login, you're now going to see here is all the folders for that particular user. So when I press all items, there's all my documents that's currently saved up on Google Docs. I can now select a document and I can actually print them directly there or I can scan documents directly into my Google Drive. So instead of having to type those parameters in every single time to scan, it remembers, etc. So that way when I go to a different user, their Google Docs show up, not this particular user. So you simply log out when you're done and that's how you use Universal Logon Manager.